In this video, I want to show you how to calibrate your ProScope HR 50X microscope to the ProScope Capture software running under Windows. Um, also in this example, we're going to use this OTB Technologies calibration ruler, but if you don't have this ruler, you could use, you know, a machinist ruler or a ruler of your choosing. So uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that your lens cone on your 50X um, microscope is in its fully extended position because when it's in the fully extended position we know that the focal point is at the end of the lens cone that way when you're touching your subject you know that you're in focus the second thing to be consistent on is your resolution for capturing and and calibrating so in this case I'm going to choose 1280 by 960 you could choose whatever resolution you want but in this case I'm going to say consistent by using 1280 by 960. So the first thing to do to calibrate is to take a picture of the ruler. In this case, I know I want to calibrate to mils. So I have a 200 mil gauge block here on the ruler. So I'm going to go ahead and capture an image of that. Now, I can either press the capture button on the ProScope itself or click the capture button in the software. In this case, I'm going to hold the microscope steady with my left hand. I just click the capture button here in the software. So once you've done that, you can actually lay your ProScope down. You can double click on the thumbnail that appears after that capture. That'll bring the image up into the edit window. Uh, from there, we want to choose the measurement option, which then brings up all these different measurement tools. But before we can use any of these measurement tools, we need to calibrate to this particular image. So to do that, click on the calibration icon That'll bring up the calibration table, which you can kind of move out of the way. Um, uh, and in this case, we know that we want to calibrate to mils, so make sure your unit measurement is set to mils. You could choose thousands also in this case, but for this example, we want to uh, have our readout show in mils rather than thousands. Um, so from there, once you've set your unit measurement, Go ahead and click on the left edge, take your mouse, click on the left edge of this gauge block, and then click on the right edge of the gauge block. Um, if you're not happy with you know, how you click, you can click the undo button here and do it again. So I was a little off the first time, so I'm gonna click there. Um, so I'm still a little off, I'm gonna try one more time here. Click on the left edge, click on the right edge. So there we go. I like that a little bit better. So that shows that my pixel size is 971 pixels. pixels. So we need to translate that into a real world, world measurement. And luckily we know that this gauge block is 200 mil. So in the actual length box, we're gonna type in 200. Again, make sure the unit measurement is set to mil. Um, and we now need to give this particular calibration a name. Uh, something that's relevant. So in this case, I know I used the 50x lens and I know that I used 1280 by 960 resolution. So that's a good way to name uh, the calibration. So once you're done there, uh, you can click add and you'll notice that it shows up in the calibration table. So to make this calibration active, just click on it and then click apply down below. Uh, after clicking apply, it turns from a light blue to a dark blue, indicating that this is now the active calibration. So once you're done there, we can actually close the calibration table and choose one of our measurement instruments. So in this case, we'll choose this straight line distance measurement, and we'll go ahead and click to the left edge here. We'll drag across and we'll click to the, to the right edge here. And you'll notice that the length shows up at, as 200.004 mil. So pretty darn accurate. I think you'll be happy with that. Um, if you want to use a different measurement tool, you can actually use this undo tool to, to clear the screen. And let's say that we want to use this three vertical line measurement tool where we uh, can click top to bottom to line up with the left edge and then bring across here to uh, the right edge. And in this case, it shows up as 199.876 mil. So again, pretty darn accurate. And I think that uh, any subsequent pictures that you, that you capture, your measurements will be accurate. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.